We've seen uh, all of the revelations over the last number of days about uh, about Mr. Carney's um, uh, Mr. Carney's string of good luck after yeah. taking on this role, and it could be the two plus billion dollars to his friend uh, uh, who operates Telesat. It could be the uh, access to the. Uh, it could be. Um, that he's uh, now opened the door for Brookfield to have um, discussions on a scheme with $50 billion uh, on pensions, $10 billion Mr. Coming. Chair, just on the amendment, not on the main motion. Okay, so... Uh, if they want to get I, silly, I, I, like points of order, like, I, what are we doing? We get... Darren, we give a lot of latitude here. I give you guys as much latitude as I give them. He's talking on the amendment. The amendment says that pursuant to Standing Order 108-1A, the committee call upon Mark Carney to appear for two hours, Jenny Byrne and Guratan Singh for one hour to testify within 14 calendar days. So, I mean, he can he can speak about this if he wants, about the amendment. So uh, go ahead, Mr. Barry. you got the floor. Like, I, I understand that they don't want to talk about um, giving privileged people, liberal insiders, positions where they have um, all of the power, access to all of Canadians' tax dollars, and none of the accountability that comes along with being a designated public office holder. I understand that that's why they want to obstruct this from happening. And look, if the question is that, you know, uh, they, they want to include people who aren't Mr. Carney in the motion, who speak at other people's, uh, speak at, uh, speak out, uh, speak at the caucuses of parties in the, that are represented in the House of Commons, well, then we then we need to add a Don Guy. We we need to subamend it to add Don Guy. We need to include in that subamendment Brian Top. These are these are federal lobbyists who speak at the caucuses and advise the leaders of uh, of the Liberal Party and, and the NDP. That, that, that's, uh, that's very plain. And if, and if having a panel with uh, Mr. Singh, Mr. Top, Mr. Guy, and uh, Ms. Byrne for two hours together to match the amount of time that, uh, that uh, Mr. Carney comes to appear at the, at the committee for, well, we support that. So long as those witnesses testify only after Mr. Carney has appeared at the committee and that we don't just end up with the, the also-rans instead of having, uh, having carbon tax Carney come before the committee. That's, that, if we want to talk about fairness, that would be fairness. So, um, so I would put a sub amendment forward. Okay, that's uh, to, what I was going to yep. ask. Were yep. you going to do that? Or so, not? Okay. so it, the 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 motion needs to be sub amended, um, and uh, the effect of the sub amendment um, is going to be to add, to include Don Guy, Brian Top, and Guratin Singh with Jenny Byrne on a panel together, appearing after invited to appear after Mark Carney has appeared. So. Um, we're going to have to uh, take the most current uh, copy of the, the, the motion and, uh, and include this proposal in it. But, um, but since we're having a conversation about fairness, we've got a top and guy who are a federal lobby. They, they run a lobbying shop. Um, if we want Ms. Byrne, who's not a federal lobbyist, to come to the committee just because she's, she's a conservative... We'll, we'll, we'll invite, we're, we're okay. fine to invite Ms. Byrne. So I, I just, I need you to repeat that again for mm -hmm. the clerk, mm -hmm. Mr. Barrett, what, what your sub-amendment is proposing, please. Yeah, the sub-amendment proposes to have Ms. Byrne, Ms. Jenny Byrne, Mr. Don Guy, Mr. Brian Top, and Mr. Guratin Singh to appear on a panel together and to be invited after Mr. Carney has appeared at the, at the committee. And if, and, and, uh, and look, if the only way that that's going to be palatable to other members of the committee is that their appearance matches in length Mr. Carney's appearance, then two hours is fine.